So hello there, my name is Zane Lemaitre uh, and welcome to rather a special review and as you can see here this is a review on the Tidmouth milk tanker um, however it's slightly different because I've got the other Tidmouth milk tankers um, as you've probably seen in my other videos, most of them in the boxes but I've got one or two that were second hand that were out of the box uh, most of the time I never get anything um, second hand, I always like to buy it with the box um, so luckily this one did come with the box as I'll talk about it later um, but this one's quite rare because this one's got um, Tidmouth milk written in red writing whereas the other is blue as I most time the TV series it was blue and um, a bit of news I'd like to share with you um, last Tuesday which would have been the 13th of July I went down to my local station and um, I filmed a class 66 uh, GBRF diesel locomotive um, and it was named Captain Tom Moore anyway and um, I've got a Hornby model of it as well and um, I've seen it now on a few different occasions and there was a couple of occasions where I saw it where I didn't actually have my camera on me um, or I was too late to get my camera out so I missed, missed it but I filmed it on four different occasions um, which for me now is more, definitely more than enough but like I said if the opportunity comes again I'll film it but anyway I filmed it at Wanborough Station and um, I put it on YouTube and uh, when it came to Wanborough Station it was supposed to come from platform one and not stop but in the end it came from platform three and it was running quite late and um, it stopped so I went to the platform on the other side took some photos of it and I sent the filmed it coming and going and to me, um, although it was a special one because obviously it was Captain Tom Moore who obviously done a lot for the AHS and unfortunately passed away at um, the beginning of the year in February um, it was for me it was just another day filming but um, Tom Hitchener from North Ants Live uh, contacted me and it's funny when he contacted me it was the day after and I was down, I was out for a cycle ride and I went down to the 14 Arches Viaduct in Wanneborough which wasn't too far from the station, anyway he contacted me and um, asked if they could do an article um, about Captain Tom Moore using my footage obviously with my name credited and all that so as you can see here he got published on North Ants Live with my video my name credited and uh, the link to my YouTube channel and it got shared on Facebook and on the North Ants Live page it was actually uh, one of their top stories as well and um, it's funny actually a few people at work who I know who I hadn't actually told about about it because I told a lot of people about it when I found out and um, it was published the day after on the 15th of July um, but a lot of people contacted me and said oh we've read your um, article and that well done sort of thing and um, I was quite I suppose chuffed uh, no pun intended um, that it got published um, like I said when I filmed it I never imagined that the uh, media would show that much of an interest and then on Saturday just gone I went to Drayton Manor and it was the first time I'd ever been and there at Drayton Manor they've got the Discover Thomas um, exhibition and there they've got the models from the um, original show when it was made um, using models obviously now the show is CGI animated but unfortunately it's set to become 2D animated I don't think the 2D animation looks as good and um, when I was there actually um, I saw Daisy who was one of my favourite ones and she was actually coupled up to a milk tanker and it had a face and Daisy ran backwards um, down the line and forwards as well And saying it wasn't just Daisy that was there, uh, Thomas and Rosie running as well. Another engine that was running as well was Mighty Mac, the narrow gauge engine. Um, and I really like Mighty Mac, and um, I've actually been on a double fairly, which is a t the type of locomotive that they're based upon. Um, but like I said, Daisy was coupled to a milk truck, and it was quite funny because um, Daisy was uh, against pulling the milk truck and had to be uncoupled. Um, and in the railway series, it was actually a milk van that was full of milk churns that she refused to pull. 
Um, but like I said, at Drayton Manor, she seemed quite happy to pull the milk truck. And, uh, and that's the thing as well, when I went to Drayton Manor, I didn't actually realise how big that the models, because I knew the show was made using models, but I didn't realise how big they were. Um, but when I went to Drayton Manor, um, saw exactly how big they were. And it wasn't just, say, the models, there was obviously all the props and things like that as well. Um, that appeared in the show that you can see. And um, one of the ones that I quite like seeing, I like seeing um, Gordon's special coaches. Um, and they were only in one episode of series 10, um, Emily and the special coaches. And um, I quite like seeing the circus trucks as well. And the circus trucks I have in the Hornby range, as you can see here. Um, we've got quite a few, few of the circus trucks, so it was nice to see them as well. When I was at Drayton Manor as well, I really liked the fact they had D261 there. And um, he had his sad face and it looked like he was being fixed by a fitter. Uh, possibly a reference to when he broke down, when he sucked the inspector's bowl hat into his air intake. And I said it's a shame that Stepney and Duck weren't there, because otherwise they could have re recreated the scene where they shunted back into the shed after he breaks down. Um, but like I said, it was great to see his model there. Um, he was a character that I liked, so yeah, really nice to see. And also the water wheel that was featured in the episode Steady Eddie, that was there as well. Like I said, it was only in that episode. And um, like I said, I think it's a shame really, because so they had lots of really nice uh, models and that. But at the same time, it was also, for me, I wish that they had more characters. Um, you know, like Gordon and Henry and that. And Bill and Ben and Mavis as well. Um, but like I said, the ones that they had there, um, I was really pleased with. And like I said, Daisy was my favourite one. And she was actually part in Toby's shed um, that was used in the show. And like I said, she ran from end to end. And it was, it was really interesting seeing all the different ones. Um, as well, as you can see in this photo here, there's a bit of plastic between the models' um, buffers uh, to stop the buffers from getting damaged. And, um, you know, and Thomas stopped at all the different stations around the layout as well. Um, like I said. And also Hank the American engine was there. And Hank wasn't one that I was very keen on. Um, but it was great to see his model, nevertheless. And um, also another one that was there. The Scarecrow that appeared in the episode Gordon Takes a Tumble, the small scale model of that was there as well as you can see in these two photos here, sort of in the background. I like I said I really like that Scarecrow, it was also in the episode Topped Off Thomas as well. The Scarecrow, so it made a couple of appearances in the TV show. And like I said all the buildings and that, like I said, were from the TV show and it was really, for me it was really, really interesting to see. Um, I do hope to go again, I do hope they get some more models there. Um, Stepney was there originally, but his model's been taken off. And Bulgy the bus, his model was there, but was taken off. And Bulgy's actually gone to Japan now, unfortunately, so I probably won't see that again. Um, but you never know. And also, like I said, Rosie was running. She was one of my favourite ones. And Rosie was painted like a lavender pink, lightly colour originally. Um, but in the CGI series now, she's painted red. And originally she was painted lilac colour when she first appeared in the CGI series, but now, like I said, she's red. Um, so, like I say, for me it was a really good day, and the video you can see on my channel of my trip to Drayton Manor, because um, I had a, went on a few of the rides there as well. Um, didn't film all of them, obviously, I couldn't. But obviously the ones that I could, um, I did, and I didn't just go on the Thomas ones, I went on some of the um, other ones as well there. I had a really good day, but I spent like two hours, um, let's say, looking around the exhibit where the Thomas models were. I like say, for me, that was the highlight of the trip. And like I said, Drayton Man's been there all them years and I'd never been, so it was great to finally go. Um, but anyway, move back onto this milk truck. So yeah, I do really like this. And uh, although the red look, writing looks quite nice, I think it looks much better in blue. And like I said, um, Daisy was quite happy um, when I saw it Drayton Man to be pulling the milk truck, unlike she normally is. Um, but yeah, I remember sort of Toby pulling the milk truck quite a lot. And Percy as well. And in the CGI series, the milk trucks are a lot different because the logo on them's quite different. And again, there's been references to Daisy refusing to pull them as well uh, in the CGI series. And um, Daisy's actually due to come out in the Backman range, and there's been lots of videos again on social media about that. And um, if obviously she was around, I would have had her pulling this one. But uh, so unfortunately, I can't. But nevertheless, hopefully, when I get Daisy, I will do. And I saw somewhere, I can't find it now, but I saw a source of information saying that her model in Backman should come out in November. So hopefully then I'll get it. Um, but yeah, I really like the milk truck. And like I said, I've got a few of the um, other tankers um, in the Hornby range as well, as you've probably seen in my other videos. 
and this one runs really nicely as well. I uh, had a bit of a run of it, really like it. Daisy's model also had one of the buffers missing but they're working on fixing that, uh, one of the workers was telling me and also George the steam model should actually get fixed but like I said it is a slow building project but like I said they've got Mighty Mac running again uh, which hadn't been for a while from what I've been told so uh, yeah I'm sure that they'll get around to fixing them all eventually but like I said it's a slow building project and they have someone that comes in to look at the models as well but I do believe that Drayton Man are doing their best to look after the Thomas models. So as I was saying, I do really like this model. And um, I think if I had to give it a score, um, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Because for me, um, it having the um, so the red writing doesn't make it like it did in the TV series. And I do prefer the um, Hornby ones um, of this to the back one because I think that... Um, you know, because back would have done the milk one as well, but I think this one captures the size a lot more, like it was again, like I said, in the TV series. Um, you know, so yeah, I think the scale on that's all correct uh, with this one. Uh, but like I said, the red writing on this one doesn't look as good to me as the blue one, but I'm really pleased to have it because it is quite rare. And um, as well, I saw this one at a model show a few years ago, and um, you know. I didn't buy it because um, I'd sort of started recollecting them and I didn't realise how rare this one was. Um, so I feel quite actually quite lucky to have it really and um, nevertheless quite happy to have it in my collection. And um, I won't tell you how much it was but it definitely wasn't my cheapest one. But this one's in really good condition. I've seen other YouTube videos and uh, they've not been in such good condition. And as well um, I've got the box here. So uh, here's a better look at the box. And if you turn it round, it shows you all the other ones you can buy, but it's written upside down. Um, I don't know why that is, um, but I found that on a few occasions in this box. And another, well, I uh, think from this box as well. Obviously, we're in the age now where you know people are going on about you know using less plastic and all that. And the box I've got here hardly has any plastic in it, apart from say just to see for see the model through. So like I said, hardly any plastic on that at all. But I mean, I keep all my models in the box anyway, so the chance that the plastic isn't going to end up, um, you know, polluting the uh, environment. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, and goodbye.